All right, Fox News alert. The president just wrapping up uh, a meeting with German Chancellor Angela Merkel at the G7 summit just a few minutes ago. And Kevin Cork is live in France to recap that meeting. Uh, Kevin, a lot of news was made in the last couple minutes. Yeah, pretty interesting, right? A couple of things I just want to make sure in case you were busy getting ready for work or if you were just sort of watching and doing other things, the president making it clear that uh, as the U.S. hosts the G7 summit next year, it will likely take place in Miami. He mentioned Doral. And for those of you who probably don't know this, this won't surprise you, he has a resort in Doral in Miami. Uh, we previously reported that was a possibility. The president also said that he would like to make his way to Germany. Very interesting, in the two-plus years he has been on the job, he's never been there at the invitation of the chancellor in Berlin. Sort of a state visit is what I'm alluding to. He's been to Germany, obviously, before, but he made very clear in his comments not long ago he will be going there, maybe even soon. Of course, he's going to be headed to uh, Poland. Uh, not long from now, he even maybe floated the idea of possibly making his way to Germany while he's in Poland. Very interesting conversation as we all took that in together. Uh, I can also tell you this, among the many differences the U.S. has had with Germany, not just monetary policy and economic policy and trade differences, differences in the way that we view the Iranian situation. Listen to what the president said, though, about his conversation, not just with the German chancellor, but other leaders in the G7 as it relates to Iran. I do think that we really made some big progress with respect to Iran in terms of unity of the G7. And there has been great unity, really. It's, it's been flawless in that sense. Flawless. That's an interesting uh, description right there. The president also talking a lot about what is happening with China. We've been talking a great deal about the U.S. and the Chinese, the trade back and forth. Uh, interesting, he uh, equated the toughness in dealing with the Chinese but the problems in dealing with the EU, which he has famously sparred with, listen here. The European Union, they're tough, very tough. They're very tough traders. And uh, the United States has lost tremendous amounts of money over the many years with the European Union. Uh, and I don't hold that against the European Union. I we have a lot more coming your way at the top of the hour. But for now, back to you from France. All right, Kevin, thanks so much.